There was one song that I, I had written that uh, was inspired by a Bach piece. And I was thinking, why is this Bach piece so beautiful? I was listening to the melody. It went above the melody, came back, below the melody, came back, kept on coming back to this one note. So I said, okay, well, I'll choose A, and I'll do that. I went above, below, wandered away, and then came back to it again. Okay, there we are. I have my beautiful melody, right? And then I'll just add a descending bass. Uh, everything sounds good with descending bass, right? And um, then I thought, well, you know, it's, it needs something else, something in the middle, like a, a moving voice. Da -da. So I said, I'll, you know, want to get something a little dissonant in there. So I'll do a, an ascending second in the middle. Da -da. Da -da. Different one, right? Da -da. And then different one. Da -da. Now it's turning into a real classical piece. Da -da. Da -da. And then it goes up high and just linger there just for a moment on that high note. And it wanders down. Da -da. Keeps doing those in the middle. Now I'm tired of A, so I'm going to go to a D and do the same kind of thing. Da -da. Da -da. Whole bunches of them. Da -da. Da -da. Half step higher. Da -da. Now it's building. so pretty I'll play it again so pretty I'll play it one more time okay now I want something that the cello can really emote on so I'll go to a minor key and then cello takes a lead here oh no actually this goes to the key of E first so just cause it wanders around in E so I can get back to A easily. Now I'll go to, go, go to the minor. And the cello takes it. So very cellistic part. Very emotional. The cello is sawing away. that arioso.